powered by two 930 horsepower Northwest imports that Mark Cruiser drives. The driver today, Brian Woodcock from Houston, Texas. Rada and Joey Impressia, he's the owner operator of East Coast Marine on Long Island. Sudden impact, 40 foot double skinny. We're on board Ohio Steel now with Reggie Fountain and Jack Haney. Get you another score of this water, Reggie. We've had a little bit of a delay, and it is hot out there. Reggie getting some refreshment. Okay. We're going to run out of water out here messing well, around. I'll give you the other one. When that happens, I'll give you the other one, all right? Yeah. Hold on to it. It's full over here. Okay. Watch revving there, Reggie. This is our rear view shot. Two cameras on board, Ohio Steel. See that boat in front of you? Yeah, I see him. He's crowding me in on John. And the front view. You see our camera mounted there on the bow. See everything you need to see? <coughs> yeah. You see him down there? He's still sitting down at the on the beach side of the course. I'm gonna do another circle here with Carmen. What's the time? How much time we got left? You got a minute? How much? A minute. <coughs> All right. On board Spirit of Texas, 46 foot Douglas Skater, Jack Carmody, Art Lilly. Yeah, I think we took the boys by surprise yesterday. I saw you take off way back here. I said either he's broke or he's going to charge him. Well, we need to salute to our fellow teammates. Watch this. The international hello sign. All right, boys, we put on enough show out here. Time to get the. <laughs> I still want to put that blow up doll in the back seat of their boat with some time when Eric's not in there. That thing will be on camera. They don't look back there. You can sneak that thing in there. <laughs> we'll get it to where it'll time it. And it <laughs> head would be going like this the whole race. Just like Kurt's used to. Yeah. <laughs> On board the other Spirit of Texas, 42-foot fountain, Rodney Rudell, Kurt Hover, and Eric Colby. Unwinding the clock. This is why people run out of gas. I hope so. We got plenty. We can mill all day, then race. Hot nasty melon or are they sitting somewhere? I don't see them. I see them. Yeah, they're melon. See the boat there, Rodney? No. Just go hard left. You'll be able to see it. That's going to be a tough one to see because these boats are in front of it. Just 240 degrees. Watch Felson. A little choppy on this leg. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be rough as shit right here. Angel one to face boat one. We are approaching the yellow can. The yellow can. I'm going straight up ahead of it. The yellow can to face boat one. Willie's getting more in than we are. Yeah, that's a copy. This is number two. Watch yes. Willie. Watch Willie. Yes. Watch Willie. Yes. Watch Willie. That was Jim Poplin and Angel One. Now aboard high risk with Chip Fenn and Richard Felser. It's awful hot in here. Sure is. Remember, we're going to clean this camera every uh, time we pull off a piece of tape for a lap just to try to keep it clear so the people at home can get a better idea of what this really looks like. But you got to understand this is an exposed camera to the salt water. 
and at high speeds, you know, we'll be going through waves and we'll be doing all kinds of things. So bear with us if you get a little water in your face. <laughs> well, the eight production boats, there's only two in our class without canopy systems. The one is right in front of us, which is the old boardwalk. I think that boat is older than this one. This one's about eight years old. That's about 14 years old. But they both still run. There's our onboard cameras, and now we see the lineup. These boats are getting ready for the start of this second annual Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival. There is the pace boat, and the boats are following. We're just moments away from this fifth national great ABBA. And there's the lineup now. And we see Incontent, Ohio Steel, Spirit of Texas, Hot Nasty, Utterly Fantastic, and Zero Defect on the outside. Waiting for the green flag now as we move a little closer to the pace boat. There's Hot and Nasty. Getting ready, moments away. We've got the yellow. And now we've got the green. The beginning of the second annual Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival has begun. In contempt, Ohio Steel, Spirit of Texas, Hot and Nasty, Utterly Fantastic, and Zero Defect on the far outside. There's In Contempt on the inside. With Ohio Steel, Hot and Nasty, Utterly Fantastic, the other Ohio Steel boat, Zero Defect on the far outside, and the other Spirit of Texas boat. We have begun this fifth national race for the APBA here in Palm Beach County. Let's go aboard now, Hot and Nasty. Chief referee Mike Tomlinson. Ohio Steel, Mike Side, Black Friday. Ohio Steel on the left there. Zero defect on the right. Coming into the picture in just a few moments. There is zero defect. Just a little excitement aboard Hot and Nasty with Brian Riccio and Bill Moff, just as usual. We're aboard Ohio Steel now with Reggie Fallon and Jack Heaney. Green, go, go! There's Spur of Texas just out the back window. Fantastic and hot and nasty out the window now. Is there a front shot there? Is there a camera on the bow? Ohio Steel. Zero defect on the right side. Back to a helicopter shot looking to the leaders. It's Ohio Steel, zero defect, and the other Ohio Steel boat with Reggie Fountain. And Jack Haney, Ohio Steel on the inside, zero defect on the outside as we approach the first turn here in the early moments of this fifth national race for the APBA. Ohio Steel and zero defect on the outside. Now coming into the picture, Reggie Fountain and Jack Haney, the other Ohio Steel. 
as we head to the first turn. Zero defect on the outside. Right on the pin as we go into the first turn. There's Ohio Steel with Jack Caney and Reggie Fountain looking downfield. Utterly fantastic. Looking once again upfield. Ohio Steel, zero defect. And of course, the other Ohio Steel boat. There's Spirit of Texas. Spirit of Texas on the modified. Spirit of Texas. And now coming into the picture, it's hot and nasty. And Spirit of Texas on the inside. Spirit of Texas, the 46 foot double skater. Spirit of Texas and hot and nasty there, right in the middle. A lot of helicopters going out with the open boats today. By the way, our helicopter pilot for today, Mr. Russell Kilpatrick from Kilpatrick Helicopters. Here on the outside, Spirit of Texas. Hot nasty right there in the middle, a 35-foot activator, powered by two 840-horsepower Mercury imports with Merc Cruiser drives. Brian Murkiel and Bill Malp aboard. Special thanks to Dave Borm, the crew chief, for getting this boat race ready. Hot and nasty. Put the checkered flag in Kent Narrows a couple of weeks ago. And running next to it right now. Brian is the driver, Bill the throttle man. M58, hot and nasty. Spirit of Texas on the outside. Special thanks to WHM Plumbing and Green Art Plumbing. Close East Coast Marine, all the crew at Lake X, and Jimmy Garland's over at Mercury High Performance. We're going to go on board hot and nasty now with Bill and Brian. Got a close-up look on board this 35-foot activity. Brian at the wheel, Bill Mouth the throttle man. Look out, get moved, Brian! Look out! I got Texas right away. Get over to you. Over to you, Lil. Get over to you. Shot M58 Hot Nasty, and of course, we can always expect some very colorful conversation aboard the Hot Nasty racing team. And they're not even done with the first lap yet of this race, so we look forward to more great excitement aboard this 35 foot activator as we go around and turn this for the Texas on the outside, Hot Nasty on the inside. And as we look upfield, the open boats are slightly ahead of the modified as we look up there. Spirit of Texas, and in the inside, Hot and Nasty M58. Spirit of Texas on the inside, the modified boat, and on the outside, we got the 46 foot double skater. Both boats owned by Mr. Jack Carmody. We're going to go with the modified, the 42 foot fountain, M11. As we said, the owner is Jack Carmody, the driver is Rodney Rodell, Kurt Harbor, the throttle man, Eric Colby aboard as well. He's from a Powerboat Magazine. He's the editor, Spirit of Texas. We're powered by two 1,000 horsepower Merc Cruiser inboards with Merc Cruiser Drive. Spirit of Texas, M11. 
Took a first place in Galveston, also Fort Myers in Sarasota, and a third place in Kenton Narrows. Currently a very comfortable lead in the modified class for this boat in the National Point Standings ABBA. Spirit of Texas and 11. Sponsors include Carlos and Charlie's and Lake Travis, Southwest for Factory of Texas, Group H Auto Sales in Baytown, U.S. Harbor Financial, and Turner Electric, and Conroe. Now, in just a few moments, we're going to go on board Spirit of Texas right after the start. Listen to some of the conversation between Rodney Riddell, Kurt Harbor, and Eric Kilby. Spirit of Texas in M Class, M11. Riddell on the left, Kurt Hall on the right. Back to our helicopter shot, Spirit of Texas, M11, a 42-foot fountain. We just saw some uh, interesting conversation aboard this Spirit of Texas. Once again, the very comfortable lead in the national point standings in M-Class has run excellent this year so far. Jack Carmody, the owner of this boat, holds the kilo record in M-Class in 1995. He was a driver at 131.94 miles per hour. Also, uh, Spirit of Texas holds the world championship in M-Class in 1995. And the Heartbeat Race Team has captured 36 victories since 1992. Very impressive for the Heartbeat and Spirit of Texas racing team. See many spectators there in the background along the beach watching this fifth national race for the ATBA. There's utterly fantastic and M-Class going by. Now sliding left on the inside is Spirit of Texas, 46-foot skater. The other Spirit of Texas, fired by two 900 horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercury's or drives. The driver, owner Jack Carmody, Battleman Art Lilly, Spirit of Texas. Graphics and paint by Mr. Art Lilly, the throttle man aboard the Spirit of Texas. They took a second place in Galveston, a third place in Fort Myers, and a first place in Chicago for U.S. Offshore. Impressive record so far for this 46-foot Douglas skater. Sponsors include Carlos and Charlie's and Lake Travis, Southwest for Factory of Texas, Group H Auto Sales in Baytown, U.S. Arbor Financial, Turner Electric, and Conroe. Now, please frame video. We'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Jack Carmody, Art Lilly, and the rest of the Spirit of Texas racing team for helping us transport our equipment from Maryland to Palm Beach, Florida for this race. On the outside is utterly fantastic in M-Class. 
Bruno Texas on the inside now, moving up somewhat. Of course, this one is in open class of a fantastic NM. It's powered by two 900 horsepower Mercury and Borg. Spirit of Texas. We look forward to seeing this Spirit of Texas at the Lake of the Ozarks event in September, U.S. Offshore. Freeze frame video will be there. We're on board now, Spirit of Texas. Yeah, Carmody, our turn. Easy here. Easy already? Wait a minute. There's a the turn right there. Go real wide. We've got a lot of traffic around here. You got back out a little bit. Oh, no way. Straighten it up. Don't turn it so hard. That's it. All right, I've got to get around this pin. Watch hot and nasty. Yeah, stay outside of him. Get on. Get us some space on him. Get in front of him, pin. A motor that's down, that's new motors down 500 RPM. Get in front of hot nasty. Hell on gas, too. Can you just slow down a little up when you get this tire? I don't need to slow down on this one, Jack. You uh -huh. have to drive around this wide open. All right. It's jumping like this. All right, I'm going to get it. Then I had to slow down a little bit. I'm telling you. Them guys did, too. All right, a little bit. Okay, back in it. That's good there. Stay in it. All right, I'm in it. with Jack Carmody and Art Lilly. 46-foot double skater. Exciting stuff in that cockpit, courtesy of our onboard camera and, of course, our audio hookup. Courtesy of both job, that audio. Boats in open class in today's race. Of course, we've got Ohio Steel, zero defect. Uh, another Ohio Steel boat, sudden impact. Lightning Jack sends for the Texas. You're watching right now, 46-foot Douglas Skater. You're watching the 1996 second national Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival right here in Palm Beach, Florida. Eighteenth race for free frame video. Proud to be here. Ohio Steel, a 45-foot fountain powered by three 1,000 horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Reggie Fountain, the driver, Jack Kenny also aboard Ohio Steel. There is the helicopter following closely with the jump medics aboard in the event of an emergency. Ohio Steel. Currently in third place in the national point standings in open class. Powered by three 1,000 horsepower Mercury inboards, Merc Cruiser Drive, number 76. Driven by veteran Reggie Fountain. 
Some of the other competitors in open class include a zero defect. We've got sudden impact, lightning jack, spirit of Texas, and another Ohio steel boat. Now, this boat, this boat in particular, is the only triple engine V bottom in open class. All the others are catamarans. And Banker, which took a first place in V and first place overall in yesterday's race, is a fountain manufactured by Skeeter. Mr. Reggie Fountain, manufacturer of Fountain Powerboat, been around offshore powerboat racing for a long, long time. He's a veteran, good for the sport. Zero defect on the outside, first place in open class as we approach the turn, watching Ohio Steel. There's the other Ohio Steel boat now in second place. And this one in particular here, this one with Reggie Fountain and Jack Kenny in third place in open, third place. Of course, the other one is John Revan and Hurley step in second. Ohio Steel. Ohio Steel, the other Ohio Steel here through the back window on the right Around side. A little to the right. View. We have two cameras on board Ohio Steel. One knob down. Oh yes. One done. Ohio 
Bill Steele doing an excellent job. Reggie Fountain and Jack Henry. Back to a helicopter shot as it now goes around the pin there, going into the turn. Ohio Steele in third place in open class and third overall. Your helicopter following along, jump medics aboard. Coming off a checkered flag in Ken Narrows is notorious on the outside lip ship on the inside in D class. Notorious 35 foot motion powered by three 2.5 EFIs. The owner is Mr. Yabani Vibes, also the driver at Throttle Manor Bill Ford. Notorious P69. As we said, took a checkered flag in Kent Narrows, also a fourth place in Galveston, a third in St. Cloud, second place in Key West. Special thanks to John and the Mercury crew over at Lake Axe. Also, special thanks to Mr. Vibes' fiance, Marsha, for all her support and being at the races. Also, special thanks to Joe for being a great crew chief. Notorious P69. Now, currently, they are in fourth place in the national point standings, so if they do a good showing here today, they can very well move up in those standings. Yvonne Bonds and Bill Ford. Also, special thanks to Intense Marine and the special graphics and paint by Graphic Effects, as you can see. Uh, a really terrific paint job aboard Notorious P69, 35 foot motion. Yvonne Vives, the driver as well as the owner of Notorious. Right now, this 35 foot motion is at the top of the pack. Three 2.5 EFIs. Other boats in the pro outboard class include Patriot, Kamikaze, Fit America, Armsco Hurricane, Pennzoil, High Risk, and Restore. There is Lipship, Lipship D22, a 41 foot Apache, powered by two 800 horsepower Zool Racing inboards with Mercruiser Drive. Lipship on the inside, Notorious on the outside. Aboard Lipschitz driver Luca Gusani from Miami, Florida. From him as Phil Lipschitz, also from North Miami, Florida. Navigator Gary Brinker from Miami as well. Lipschitz, 41 foot Apache. Some spectator boats there on the side. Powered by Zools, a pair of 800 horsepower engines. Other competitors in D-Class include Velocity, Zero Gravity. Of course, we're watching Lipship right now. Also, Snapper, Phantom, and Pepsi Racing. And I'm sure D. Johnny, Phil Lipschitz, and Gary Brinker looking real comfortable there on that 41-foot Apache. Gary of TNT Custom Marine. Gary Brinker, the navigator. You see some either smoke or mist now coming out of the engine compartment, but it's not slowing them down. They are at the top of the pack in D-Class. D-22, Lipschitz, number one right now in D.
Big enough field. There is Patriot in the lead, followed by Notorious in Pro Outboard. Patriot and Notorious battling for first place in the Pro Outboard class. There's Notorious. Notorious going around the turn. Notorious and upfield is Patriot right now. They're a leader in Pro Outboard. Patriot and Notorious. As we get a little closer, we can tell you that Patriot is a 35-foot motion powered by three 2.5 EFIs. Driver is Roger Taylor. Fellow man is Bob Hamlin. Bob Hamlin is the owner of Patriot P7. Now, Patriot currently is in first place in the national point standings in B class, followed by Harmstead Hurricane, Pit America, and Notorious in fourth place. Patriot Racing Team would like to give special thanks to two members, Jackie Hamlin, Vicki Dixon, Mary Dixon, John Engel. Also, special thanks to Angel Marine and Days In at Singer Island for the fine accommodations during this race. Patriot, P7, your current leader in D class. 35 foot motion. Roger Taylor and Bob Hamlin aboard. Amico, one of the sponsors. Powered by three 2.5 via five. Palm Beach here in the background. Fifth national race for the ATBA right here in Palm Beach County. Patriot, your leader, but notorious close behind. There's notorious on the inside. Notorious now making its move on Patriot. Notorious and Patriot battling for first place. Battle about racing here going off between Notorious and Patriot and pro outboard. Now, as we said, Notorious currently is in fourth place in the national point standings. A win here can really move this boat up. Patriot, your leader in the national points. But Notorious now with a slight edge over Patriot. Notorious. Notorious now is your leader in P class. Notorious has overtaken Patriot on the outside. Patriot on the outside. Notorious on the inside to go around the pin. Excellent driving by the Notorious Racing Team. Currently in first place in B-Class. As we look up field, we see Zero Defect, the open boat, and a bunch of T-boats that go around the turn. we got Benzoil, High Risk, and Restore. Going around the turn now, right there in the middle is Velocity, the Velocity boat. On the left side, Zero Defect, your leader in the open class. On the right side, we got Penzoil, High Risk, and Restore, but Velocity right there, smack in the middle. Velocity. P71, high risk, a 32-foot skater cat. High risk with Restore on the outside. High risk, as we said, a 32-foot skater cat, powered by three 2.5 EFIs. Chip bent the driver, throttle man, Richard Felson. Richard is from Great Neck, New York. Chip from Hampton Bays, New York. High risk. Sponsors include Hawk Racing Consultants. Chip bent and Richard Felson in the cockpit. Rich Felson and the rest of the high-risk racing team would like to thank everyone over at Lake X for the maintenance program. High risk. There was the Pennzoil looking up field. Pennzoil of a key book. Great racing here in P-Class. A lot of competition. We do have an onboard camera aboard high risk mounted in between there on the tripod, as you might be able to see. We will get to them a little bit later on in the race. High risk. 32-foot skater deck. P-71. Notorious right now. Your leader in P-Class, followed by Patriot. Penzoil and high risk. Restore right behind high risk.
There is Pennzoil. Pennzoil and high risk. Lots of P-boats. Great competition today here in Palm Beach County. Pennzoil and high risk, third and fourth place. Let's go aboard high risk now at the start of the race. Chip Pent, Rich Belson. We got Patriot, split the difference right here. I'm pushing. Give me some gas, buddy. You're getting ready to drop the green. Get me away from Fit America. Get me up there. Hammer it. This is too tight. I got us. Go, go, go. That's it, right? Great job done by this high-risk racing team. Jim Fett, the driver, Rich Belson, the throttle man. 32 foot skitter. Turn. Stay with it. Stay on the hammer. Okay, you're back. I can hear you. If you give me some more boat speed, I can pinch these guys up. Give it to me. I'm going for the pin. I'm going to force them inside. A little more boat speed. I don't need more that's boat it, speed. That's it. That's yeah, it. Keep going, good. Rick. You're doing good. That's it. Keep going. Don't let up. This is going to be a hairy one. I got Patriot right on my shoulder. He's going to be forced to go underneath me. This high-risk race team is the first to go to the first turn of the race. We're going to go a little bit farther into the race now. We're going to see Pennzoil on the left side. Charlie's right on our ass. We're going to stab this guy. Uh-oh, hose down big time in the wake of Pennzoil. A lot of water going in there. Back to our helicopter shot now. It's high risk on the inside. Pennzoil on the outside. Iris doing a great job here in this 1996 second national Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival. Fifth national race for the ABBA. Field. There's Pennzoil, Pennzoil P70, 30 foot shadow, powered by 3, 2.5 TFI. The driver Shane Mayhew from Diamond Point, New York. Driver man Nikki Kutro from Lake George, New York. P70 Pennzoil right now in third place in C Class. Victorious is in first, followed by Patriot and Pennzoil in third place. Pennzoil took a second place in New Hampshire, U.S. Offshore, also first place in Point Pleasant. Some of the sponsors that make this Pennzoil racing team right on track include Performance Custom Trailers, All Wave Discount Marine, Jay Lucarelli and Son, Race Day Products, and Weldon Racing Funds. Pennzoil had a whole bunch of Pennzoil-related products in their trailer, and of course there are many, many people there interested to see what that was all about. Pennzoil P70. Now we have some boats that are out of the race. A handful of boats here in the early stages. Onshore D, we've got Pepsi Racing is out. Kamikaze in the P class is out as well. In the modified, in consent, retired after the first lap. So those boats are out of the race. But right now, Pennzoil right on track in third place right now. Great competition in pro outboard. We said Notorious right now, the leader, followed by Patriot. Pennzoil right in there. Shane Mayu and Nikki Kudrow aboard the 30 foot shadow. by 3, 2.5 EFI.
Hudson's Oil, a very reliable boat, is running excellent right now. It's been around a long time. Many checkered flags to its credit. E70 Penzo, sometimes known as Boardwalk Racing, running and sounding excellent. There's Restore, Restore P4, 35-foot motion, and high risk right behind on the outside. So it's Restore and high risk here in a battle in the Pro Outboard class. On the inside, it's Restore, as you said, 35-foot motion, powered by 32.5 EFI. The driver is Roy Young from Brighton, Michigan. The is Charlie Haynes from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Restore P4. High risk, though, right behind. To the third place in Galveston, the first place in Key West. The sponsors here include Restore Marine Products, Champion Smart Plugs, Coca-Cola, and H2 Optics, Sunglasses, and the Rutledge Inn on Cinder Island for the fine accommodations here in Palm Beach County. V4 Restore 35-foot motion, looking excellent right now. Restore, Roy Young and Charlie Hames aboard. Very shortly, we will be going aboard High Risk with Chip Bent and Richard Belson to get some of their conversation and some of the great competition we have in the Pro Outboard class. Right now we're watching the store, P4, currently in third place in P. Pins about uh, 60 yards, 70 yards to our left. Those two towers are. Restore on the left there. Competition here in the pro outboard. We're on board high risk. There you can see Restore on the left. Restore and high risk in a battle. Hammer down. Like a lot easier would be Charlotte is Penn. Any suggestions right now? Once again, high risk in the wake of Restore. Well, they're getting a bath there, probably getting them cooled off here in the light of these high temperatures in Palm Beach County. Back in the race now. And there is Restore, P4, 35-foot motion. Roy Young and Charlie Haynes do a fine job here aboard this motion, powered by three 2.5 EFIs. Fifth national race for the APDA right here in Palm Beach County. Free frame video sends our congratulations to Mr. Hank Harms for really orchestrating a fine event here in Palm Beach County. And of course, free frame video is proud to be a part of it. Also, special thanks to Graphic Effects for the paint job and effects here on the store before. Top of the pack, 35 for most. with Chip Bent and Rick Belson. And there on the left side, you see Restore. And the helicopter right above. That's our helicopter pilot, Mr. Russell Kilpatrick from Kilpatrick Helicopters. Always a fine job. Real battle going on here between these two boats, High Risk and Restore. High Risk, a 32-foot skater, Restore, 35-foot motion. Macro helicopter shot with Restore. Roy Young with Charlie James. There's High Risk on the outside. Coming up, High Risk and Restore in a battle in B. High Risk now getting a little bit of advantage. A little bit of lead over Restore. High risk on the outside with Chip Bent and Rick Belson. 
Both powered by three 2.5 EFIs. Back on board now. Back on board. High risk. Great battle in three. High risk and restore on the inside. Right now, as we look downfield, there is Velocity D38 as we get a little closer. Velocity is your leader right now in first place in D-Class D38. It's an older Velocity, but right now it's running very, very well around this course. 38-foot Velocity powered by two 850 horsepower exact performance marine inboards with Mercury's and Drive. Aboard this Velocity, Mike Leeper, he's from Pompano Beach, he's the driver. Battleman Ed Vinkowski from Coconut Creek, Florida. Navigator Marco Andrew from Boca Raton. Velocity Racing Team like to give special thanks to Young Oil Corporation, also TNM Tooling from Lake Worth, Florida. Velocity D38, number one right now, your leader in D-Class. We have some boats that are out uh, in D-Class. Pepsi Racing retired, Snapper Phantom and Lift Ship, leaving Velocity and Zero Gravity. Five boats in all had energy, only two remain. Of course, Kamikaze is also out in pro outboard and in content have the race in the modifier. Nice throttling job there by Ed Binkowski from Coconut Creek. Throttleman Ed Binkowski, he's a veteran, been around a long time, always does a great job with his team velocity, 38 foot velocity, D38. Here you see the Palm Beach skyline in the background. Beautiful vacation area, great place to have a race. Going around the turn, there is number five, Lightning Jacks. Lightning Jacks is a 36-foot Douglas skater powered by two 900 horsepower inboards. Bill Dorman is the driver. He's from Mullica Hill, New Jersey. Throttle man is John Woolley from Manasquan, New Jersey. He's also the owner of Lightning Jacks. Lightning Jacks, brand new 36-foot skater for this year. High risk there on the outside. High risk. Lightning Jack took a fourth place in Lake Winnipesaukee, a fourth in Chicago, a third in Sarasota, and a first in Halifax. Lightning Jacks. Mr. John Woolley is the owner of Lightning Jacks Marina, proud sponsor of this 36-foot Douglas skater. This boat is rigged and maintained by professional marine racing, home of many championship boats. John Woolley and Bill Durham would like to welcome North Star Navigation to their team. North Star provides the GPS computerized guidance system. Now, Brennan Boat Company specializes in the best selection of pre-owned sea race pleasure boats. The Lightning Jacks racing team would also like to give special thanks to Camposano Marine Insurance, your complete marine insurance center in Wall, New Jersey. Also, Camposano Marine Insurance is a proud sponsor of this video production. Also, a special thanks to Tower Canvas, contributed custom canvas and interior components, and Tower Power, fabricators of aluminum fishing towers known around the world, provide their expertise on the complex safety equipment aboard Lightning Jacks. And there's a good look at the Merc Cruiser Drive. The leaders in open class include Zero Defect, Ohio Steel, Street of Texas, and Lightning Jacks. We're watching right now, number five. There's Pennzoil on the outside in D-Class, Pennzoil. In third place in Pro Outboard. Bill Dorman, John Woolley aboard this 36-foot Douglas skater. Just listen to those two 900 horsepower in board.
You're watching the 1996 Second National Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival. Here's another open boat, sudden impact, the 40-foot Douglas Skater, powered by two 930-horsepower Northwest inboards with Mercruiser drives. The driver today, Brian Woodcotton from Houston, Texas. Joey and Presha on throttles. Of course, Joey is the owner-operator of East Coast Marine on Long Island. Curtis Barr is the owner of this 40-foot skater, sudden impact. Special thanks to Steve Lopez and Little Bill and all the guys over at Victory Marine. And special thanks to Enhanced Laser Products, manufacturer of the best recycled toner cartridges. Also special thanks to Bobby Moore from Bobby Moore's Custom Marine in Miami, Florida. Sudden impact, 40-foot skater. Guys looking comfortable there, Brian Whitcott and Joey Impression. Joey Impression, the owner-operator of East Coast Marine on Long Island, also the uh, owner of many, many national and world championships over the years, lending his time and assistance to the Sudden Impact Racing Team, Mr. Joey Impression, on throttle. Sudden Impact, another Texas boat. We've got four Texas boats here today. We're on board now, as you can see. On board Sudden Impact. We've got Banker, two spirit of Texas boats, and Sudden Impact. Houston, Texas. This is at the start now. On board Sudden Impact at the start. Ryan we've got at the wheel. Joey and Bradshaw, final minute. Northwest inboards, cranking around, they sound Got the shot, sudden impact. 40 foot Douglas Skater, number two. As we said, these Texas boats well represented here in Palm Beach County, four and all. Through the drive, Northwestern board.
zero gravity on the outside. Zero gravity in second place in D. They took a second place in C class yesterday. Zero gravity. In the meantime, it's sudden impact with Brian Whitcott and Joey Impression. There we see zero defect there. Two open boats. Zero defect in Ohio Steel. One and two. Zero defect right now in first place. In open class, it has eight back-to-back -back checkered flags. It's won every race that has entered this year. It is unstoppable. Zero defect. A 46-foot Douglas skater powered by two 950 horsepower inboards. Sterling inboards with Mercury's and drives. The driver is Lake Fern. And throttle man is John Tomlinson from Miami, Florida. Zero defect. By the way, John Tomlinson, the owner-operator of TNT Custom Marine, which brings and maintains zero defect. Also, special thanks to Glenn Martin. He is the team manager of Zero Defect. Sponsor includes Hyatt Hotels and Resorts. Zero Defect ranking around this course in open class in first place, followed by Ohio Steel in second. It looks like Zero Def Defect is really assured a national championship that is so far ahead in the national point standings in open class. Zero Defect. Beautiful Palm Beach in the background. Just listen to those sterling inboards. Rocking and rolling, no problem. Zero defect, your leader in open. Looks like it's heading for another checkered flag. Unstoppable, the zero defect race team. There you see zero defects, angel helicopter right above there. Chuck from Biscayne Helicopters is the pilot, and of course, the Glenn Martin team manager is inside along with the jump medics, ready to jump out of the helicopter in the event of an emergency and to help out the crew members. Zero defect, number one in open class. In second place in open class, it's number 99, Ohio Steel, a 46-foot Douglas skater. Powered by two 900-horsepower Mercury inboards with Mercruiser drives. Ohio Steel. There's the other Ohio Steel boat with Reggie Fountain and Jack Haney as we approach the turn. And going back into the turn is Ohio Steel, 46-foot Douglas skater with John Rabbit aboard. He is the driver. Throttle man is Hurley Step. Ohio Steel took a first place in New Hampshire, U.S. Offshore. This is its third race of the season. There is Zero Defect, your leader in open class. Now, Ohio Steel within striking distance. It's a battle here in open class between Zero Defect and Ohio Steel. John Revan, the driver, is also the owner of Ohio Steel, number 99. Those Mercury inboards are really revving around there. They sound excellent. Once again, it's Ohio Steel and Zero Defect. Zero Defect, your leader. Ohio Steel right behind, close behind. Could make its move. 
Mercruiser drives. Great battle here in open class. Down to the finish. Going around the turn now, Ohio Steel. John Revan and Hurley step aboard. In second place in open class. He's done. He's finished. Second took it second place in open. Now we go around the turn. There is Utterly Fantastic and Hot and Nasty in the modified. Once again, there's Utterly Fantastic look, looking up field. Now there is Hot and Nasty there coming down on the inside. Hot and Nasty. M58, 35-foot activator, powered by two 840 horsepower Mercury and boards. Brian Riccio and Bill Mouth aboard. Hot and nasty M58. In second place right now in the modified. Took a second place in Key West, a third in Miami. Great job in Sarasota and a checkered flag in Kent Narrows. Special thanks to Dave Borm, the crew chief. Hot and nasty in second right now in the modified. Special thanks to WH Plumbing, Reinhardt Plumbing, and East Coast Marine, and everyone over at Lake X. Joey and Pressure, of course, the owner operator of East Coast Marine on Long Island. Brian Riccio and Bill Mopp. On the outside, it's high risk and utterly fantastic. Right there in the middle, hot and nasty. In pursuit of utterly fantastic as we approach the turn in a few moments. Hot and nasty, and there we see Pennzoil going into the turn. It's Pennzoil, utterly fantastic, high risk, and restore on the inside there. In the middle, hot and nasty with Brian Riccio and Bill Mock. Very shortly, we will go aboard. Once again, hot and nasty, M58. Brian Riccio doing a fine job there at the wheel. Boom off the throttle man. They're still on a terror run that they started with right at the green flag. They're still cranking around the courts. Nice. Fucking job.
Hot and Nasty in second place in the modified in pursuit of utterly fantastic your leader. A helicopter shot hot and nasty. Brian Riccio and Bill Mull. There's utterly fantastic on the outside. The leader in M class. Battle going on here in the modified between utterly fantastic and hot and nasty. There's utterly fantastic on the inside. Zero gravity on the outside. Zero gravity in D class. Utterly fantastic in the modified. Your leader right now in M class. Utterly fantastic. A 35 foot motion powered by two 700 horsepower Chevy inboards with Mercruiser drives. The driver is Rob Stevenson. The man is Andy Trout. A little history now on M00. In 1995, they were a U.S. Offshore National Champion. Also, 95 second place in the World Championships in Key West. And they were Region 6 High Points Champion for 93, 94, and 95. Now, Holly Fantastic has won the following races this year. 1996, Lakeland, Pasaki, New Hampshire, Chicago, uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And uh, last year, Palm Beach was very good to them because they won here last year. So, right now, they could repeat. They are in first place right now in the modified. M double O, utterly fantastic. Rob Stevenson and Andy Trout. Those Mercruiser drives, boat is powered by two summer horsepower Chevy inboards. On the outside is Patriot in second place in B class right now. Notorious, the leader. On the outside, it's Patriot. M double O, utterly fantastic. We'd like to thank the sponsors, including Mag Truck, in particularly Bob Lisby, also Power Quest Power Boats and ULX 110 Custom Blended Motor Oil. Now, Andy Trout believes much of the success of this race team is the attention to the fine details in preparing the race boat between events in order to finish each race, cooperation from their families, and also in particular their wives, Marilyn and Christy, and of course, a lot of luck as well. Utterly fantastic, your leader in the modified M00. Also special thanks to Graphic Effects for the graphics and paint job aboard this 35-foot motion. Number one, your leader in M. Beautiful Palm Beach coastline. Looks like M00 will repeat its victory that it had here last year. Board hot and nasty now with Brian Riccio and Bill Moff will take this 35 foot activator to the finish line. Second place in M class, hot and nasty. Texas, Rodney Rudell, Kurt Harbour, and Eric Colby from Powerboat Magazine. Start finish line. We're coming up to it. Right there, isn't it? How many laps is that? That's seven. That's a seven. They're smooth in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the move boat's in. Remember that slow sea boat oh, yeah. back there? Back down, back down, back down. Back down. Back down. Yellow buoys after oh, yeah. start finish. 
Where's Hot and Nasty and... They're back up by the start-finish boat. Not a bad race, just didn't have our water, did we? No, but it was a good one. It was a good one, you drove good. Yeah, I would have been spinning a boat out left and right. Yeah, that was tough. Turns. Good job, Rodney. Thank you, gentlemen. On board the other spirit of Texas with Jack Carmody and Art Lilly. So it's Spirit of Texas taking the third place in open class. The 1996 Palm Beach Offshore Grand Prix Festival is in the record books. P69, a well-deserved checkered flag for Notorious. 35-foot motion took a checkered flag in Kent Narrows. Another one here in Palm Beach. Congratulations, P69, Notorious. Two checkered flags in a row. Zero gravity, second place in D. Their velocity on the left side was the winner in D velocity. Once again, there's Notorious with a well-deserved checkered flag. A lot of great competition in P-Class, but Notorious coming out on top. Number one, well-deserved, Notorious. Lightning Jacks taking a fourth place in open class, Lightning Jacks. Utterly Fantastic, a checkered flag in the modified. Back-to-back -back checkered flags for Utterly Fantastic has won just about every race that it has entered this year except Sarasota. Utterly Fantastic, another fine job by M Double O. They won last year here in Palm Beach, and they won again back-to-back -back checkered flags here in Palm Beach County. Okay, an open class with zero defect. Another checkered flag, unstoppable. Zero defect, eight checkered flags in a row. Zero defect powered by Stoneman Imports. In second place, Ohio Steel in third. Spirit of Texas, zero defect, another checkered flag. Once again, eight in a row. In the modified, utterly fantastic back-to-back -back checkered flags. They won here last year, and they won again this year. Utterly fantastic coming in number one, followed by Hot and Nasty, close second, and Spirit of Texas in third. Great conversation aboard Hot and Nasty. Pro outboard class, Notorious, two checkered flags in a row for Notorious. In second place, Patriot, and in third place, Penzoil with Nikki Kutro aboard. Notorious, number one in pro outboard. And an offshore D, Velocity, coming in first, taking the checkered flag, followed by Zero Gravity, and Lipship in third place. Once again, Velocity, the winner in offshore D. And those are your results now in the second National Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival, the fifth national race for the APBA, and the 18th race for freeze frame video productions here in Palm Beach County. With the many, many spectators on the beach now, here are the national point standings for the APBA as far as we can figure it. In open class, first off, zero defect in first place, followed by Spirit of Texas, and in third place, Ohio Steel. In the modified, Spirit of Texas in first place, then Hot and Nasty in second with M77 in third. 
In the pro stock, we've got Patriot, P7 in first place, then Harmska Hurricane, and Notorious bringing up third place. And finally, in D, it's Pepsi and Snapper in second place. And those are your national point standings for the APBA. In this 1996 racing season, well, Palm Beach is history, a great event, great competition, and freeze frame video is proud to be a part of it. Now, before we go, there are a few people that we would like to thank. First off, Mr. Hank Harms and his wife, Dodie, for orchestrating a fine event, the second national Palm Beach County Offshore Grand Prix Festival. Also, our freeze frame video production crew, Gary and Nancy Johnson, for their expert camera work. Our helicopter pilot, Russell Kilpatrick from Kilpatrick Helicopters. Mr. Peter Magnani for installing our onboard cameras. And Capazano Marine Insurance for sponsoring this video production. Capazano Marine Insurance located in Wall, New Jersey, your complete marine insurance center. From performance to pleasure and race vessels, from commercial marinas to personal water, Crap. Step to stern coverage, custom designed to fit the individual vessel. If it floats, we insure it. Capizano Marine Insurance. So on behalf of Jeff Girardi and the rest of the freeze frame video production crew, this is Vince Lapari wishing you a fond farewell from Palm Beach, Florida. Hope to see you at the next offshore powerboat race. Bye, everyone.